Here is the easiest method for defeating the Colored Pencils boss in Paper Mario the Origami King. On the very first turn, what you'll want to do is line up your path so that you end up at the back of the pencil case with an attack panel there. And it'll also be of benefit to you if you could pass by the on switch. Now if you don't have an on switch available, then you'll just look for the treasure chest and you'll want to pass the treasure chest and the on switch should pop out of that. If you're having trouble with lining up the path, one thing you could do is hold down the Y button until you cheer at least 100 coins, and then you'll see a path lit up of where exactly you will walk for that turn. When you pass by one of these question mark envelopes, it'll give you tips and tricks for the boss's weaknesses. It's really important that we end at an attack panel at the back of the pencil case while the pencils are still inside. We'll use the hammer attack and what will happen will be the pencil case will slam shut and it will start firing its pencils but it shuts so it'll damage itself. In the next turn the pencil case will be dizzy, there will be no pencils inside the pencil case so that means the inside of the pencil case will be vulnerable. So what you'll want to do for this turn is line up your path so that you finish on an attack panel where you can reach the inside of the pencil case. And once you get here, again, use your hammer. After that, it's going to be the pencil case's turn to attack you, so you could just press A to block to reduce the damage once it hits you. After that, it will reload on pencils and we'll just do the same thing one more time. We'll line up the panel so that we have an attack panel behind the pencil case and we'll use our hammer attack, slam it shut, and it'll attack itself again. It's important to not step on any of the magic panels that allow you to use the thousand fold arm technique because we want to keep that activated for later in the fight. Once you've slammed the pencil case shut a second time, what's going to happen? Again, it'll keep firing at itself, and after this round it'll be dizzy, and it'll have a vulnerable inside of the pencil case again. So a second time you're going to line up your panel so that you could get to the inside of the pencil case and attack it with your hammer. If you have any of the A plus 1 panels available, you can use that, that will allow you to do two attacks in one turn. Or if you have a 2x panel, you could use that, that will allow you to do double damage in one turn. After this, the pencil case will attack you again, you could press A to block again, and this time, when the pencil case reloads, you'll see that the pencils turn a golden color and they start spinning. Now, this will be a special attack and this could do quite a bit of damage to you. So it's important at this point to use the thousand fold arm technique. What you'll want to do is put a magic circle near the front of the pencil case that you can get to. If you try to hammer the back of the pencil case, or if you try to slam shut the back of the pencil case with the magic panel, that will not work. You'll have to set up the magic panel to the front of the pencil case and make Mario get to that and use the thousand fold arm technique in front of the pencil case. Once you're able to do this, you grab all of the pencils and then you repeatedly press A to keep slamming it into the pencil case. If you've done enough damage earlier in the fight, then this should end the boss fight, but if not, then the boss will basically be a very weak version of itself and it'll do very little damage. You could press A to block. And on your next turn, all you have to do is line up your panels, go up to it, attack it, and finish it off. Hopefully this video helped you out. If this helped you out, please let me know in a comment. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content and enjoy the game.